What in the world is going on here? I have a few simple materials. I have a battery, I have some wire, then I have a magnet here, and above the magnet is a coil of copper wire. You put all that together and I have some really cool things happening. And believe it or not, scientists call this an electric motor. Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. You know, a really cool scientist named Michael Faraday, and he discovered that amazing things happen when magnetic forces work with forces that are created with electricity. Using science, he discovered the electric motor. So I'm going to stop this motor so we can zoom in and really take a closer look at how everything works together. So our setup for this electric motor is pretty simple. Everything we use needs to carry electricity. And that electricity must travel in a circle scientists call a circuit. So we have a metal tab, we have a metal push pin, we have this metal wire, and we have this coil of copper. Everything's metal, and all of those carry electricity. Where does the electricity come from? Well. That's where this battery comes in. But what's up with this magnet? Well, the magnet has a force of its own. And Michael Faraday discovered that when electricity moves through wire, that also creates a force. Now remember, a force is a push or a pull. So when I have the force of the magnet working with the force of the electricity going through that wire, all that pushing and pulling makes this coil of copper spin. Let's see if we can see those two forces working together. So now I'm going to try and attach my battery to create a force. The magnet already has a force. Let's see if we can get our motor to work. And there we go. The push and the pull of the electric motor. Two forces working together. The electric motors we use today are actually covered up. So you can't see the magnets and the wire, but they're there. This tiny little motor, this electric motor, actually has the same parts as our working motor. What I'd like to do is pull this apart, zoom in, so you can take a closer look and see what I'm talking about. All I have to do is pop this part off and the inside comes out. And now, I'll set this down. What does this look like to you? Well, that's coils of copper wire. And if you look carefully, Inside this metal frame are two magnets. Magnets and copper wire. Magnet, copper wire. All I need is the electricity and this motor will spin. We use electric motors really all over in so many different places. But remember, that motor is usually covered up so you can't see the copper wire and you can't see the magnets. This drill actually uses an electric motor. If you pick it up, it's a little bit heavy. Why? It's all those magnets and copper wire. You can't see it because it's covered up. But my drill's not working. What do I need? Well, the magnets are in there, but it needs a battery. So my drill doesn't work because it doesn't have a battery. My battery supplies the electricity, and it makes my motor spin. So when I take my battery and put it in to my drill, I should now have electricity moving through that copper wire, which works with the forces of the magnet to make my motor spin. And when my motor spins, this drill bit should spin too. Three, two, one. The electric motor works. Amazing. Think about all the great things we use today because Michael Faraday made such a cool discovery about how the force of electricity works with the force of a magnet to create the electric motor. If you want to learn more about electricity, motors, and magnets, check out our link in the video description. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching.